Matt Billy Joel, we didn't start the fire. Nine minutes past five, Black Country Radio Drive Time, Matt Dudley here. I'm only live here till seven o'clock this afternoon. Hope you're well. Don't let the snow, the ice, the cold put you off. Just get in, put something warm on, a big massive jumper or something, and listen to Black Country Radio. We are here, we are live for you all day. And I'll tell you more about what's coming up tonight on Black Country Radio as well, because there's really good programmes coming on after this one. I mean, you are literally being treated this afternoon. And no more, no least being treated, that's not even grammatically correct, than our next guest. Because uh, this this uh, wonderful singer has been on the show many times before, or once before. I think she's going to be a, a, a regular I think maybe once a month we'll get this one on just to talk about anything, even nothing, if we like. We can do what we like because it's Jo O'Meara. She's live. She's here. Good afternoon. Hello. Are you okay? Are you there? I'm very good. How yes. are you? I'm very well. I mean, it, it seems to be a regular. You're on this show more than I am. I know. I'm nicking, I'm nicking your job. No, please do. I, I tell you what, let's swap. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll do the back catalogue of S Club 7 and you come and do this. Okay, that sounds fun. Sounds like a deal. You okay? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. Very well. Good. Now, the last time we spoke, you were just putting out your new album and your new single, which, by the way, was superb. Congratulations on that. Thank um, you. What's been the reaction since that's gone out? I've been so lucky. Everyone's been really, really supportive. Um, they've all liked the album and liked the songs that I decided to put on the album, so that's all good. Um, yeah, so all very successful. I'm very pleased. Good. Well, you should be as well, because it's always it's always a difficult thing, isn't it? When you've been in a band like you have, to come out and do some solo stuff and to say to the world, oh, here I am, don't expect what I've done before. This is me mature. I've grown yeah. up now. Um, yeah. I'm not doing that, uh, that love dancing you all did together, which is fantastic, by the way. Still great. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, you've got, you've got to sort of start again in lots of ways, haven't you? And this album, which was great and well received, it was an example of you would you say maturing into your music? Most definitely, yeah. And I think you just said it as well. You know, S Club 7 was a successful thing in its own right. And me coming back again as a solo artist, again after 16 years since the first album, you know, it's pretty much starting right from the very, very beginning for me, um, which is, is a challenge that I wanted to take on. And I think the, the music is definitely a lot more mature. Um, yeah. And, you know, the writing of the, of the album and the sound of the album is much more grown up than probably my first album, even Relentless. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with the way that it came out. And you should be as well. And here we are, uh, just about to go into December, and uh, you've presented us now with what can only be described as an accidental Christmas song. Would that be yeah. fair? Because you've you've rehashed or re-recorded and yeah. uh, made all your own and made it lovely and Christmassy and laid back. Never have I, I'd never had a dream come true. The S Club 7 hit. Yes, I know. Yeah. What's, what's that? I mean, that must, that's a very special song to you. Uh, I mean, it's, yeah. it's certainly one of those moments. Was I right in thinking, was that a Children in Need track? It was. Yeah, yeah. it was, wasn't that it? That was yeah. the first of our Children in Need songs, and um, it raised a lot of money for, for Children in Need. And uh, it's actually turned 21. It's I, I, I was about, it's on my notes, and I was about to say 20, because you don't look that old. On Saturday, yeah. So <laughs> you're, not, that, you're not even 21 yourself. I don't even know how that works. No, I um, don't know how that happened, because I wasn't even born yet. No, I, nor, nor was I. But 20, <laughs> 21 years ago, and it was such a lovely song. It's got, it's got the lyric really help, helpful to, today. I mean, with mental health and people feeling a little bit unsure about how things are. Actually, this is a, a song of hope, isn't it? It is. It is. It's quite, it's very melodic and it's very beautiful, but it's quite an uplifting song. And, um, and I just think it's just the perfect song for this kind of time of year, really. Yeah, well, you put sleigh bells and anything and it will sound nice. And exactly. So but but you know, what you've done, you've stripped it right back and it's, um, it's very much unplugged. It's you, uh, very simple uh, instrumental uh, background. And it just sounds so relaxed and lovely. Um, was it, how, how difficult is it to take a song like that, an iconic track, and strip it right back? It's all bare, so it's just you and something. Yeah, like, is it, it, yeah. Bones. yeah, it is, yeah. It is different because, to be honest, never had a dream come true isn't I don't know whether it is or it isn't but for me not that easy to sing because I you've got to start very very low like in the carpenters area and then it goes up and then there's a key change so I think trying to do it completely stripped back it's taken a lot more vocal control for me to to make it sound like I'm not shouting it or screaming it um 
but I've, I've sort of my voice has matured and developed so much over the last couple of years which is crazy um but you know I'm just I just feel very lucky to be able to do these songs in a completely different way yeah I mean would do you have to talk to the other the other members of the band before you go and do this or no. can you, you can just do it can you yeah because it's it's a completely different version mm. you know all the all the music everything's all new the vocals have been redone so yeah there's no there's no problems there and you're very exposed aren't you because you like you say you've got the backing of the band and the the, the heavy instrumentals on, on the other version but this one you really hear your voice for what it is and you know it's bare i mean you you've really yeah. it's you isn't it yeah which is which is exactly what i wanted to to do because it's i've always said it's very hard to take a ballad and then make it an acoustic Yes. Uh, with Don't Stop Moving, it was such an upbeat dance song. So doing a stripped back ballad version of that did make it sound completely different to the original. Yeah. So I had to really sort of strip all the BVs out of it and just literally have a piano and a few nice strings in it and just slow it all down to, to give it a different feel. And oh, it's really nice as well. I've, I've played it a few times since since I first had it. And it's it's just, it's really nice and Christmas. I think it fits in very nicely to our Christmas music coming up. So I think you'll be, you'll be fine with that. And uh, who knows, people might take it, uh, who have never heard it before, and go, what a beautiful song. Wow. Um, uh, you know, listen to it for the first time. Very much an unplugged version. Because um, we were talking before we came on air, because you are going to take some of this music out there and very much do an unplugged set, aren't you? Yeah, which is exactly what, <clears throat> excuse me, it's exactly what I love to do. I love ballads, as everyone knows, and I love doing little, sort of like stripped back acoustic stuff. So it works perfectly for me. So next year I'm doing a couple of the uh, Pizza Expresses. I'm doing the London and I'm doing the Birmingham, which will be shows that are completely stripped back and acoustic, which I'm so excited about. Well, that's in Brindley Place in Birmingham. It's a nice place to be. It's a great location. We, when, when's that? When you come to Birmingham? So Birmingham, oh, I haven't got the dates to... I'll put you on the spot now. You put me on the spot. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm so sorry. We'll find I, out. You no, know I think it's the 18th of March, I think. Okay. Oh. Um, and then the other one is in London, Holborn, on the 28th of February, I do believe. I hope well, look, right. I'm sure. Well, look, it, it's good enough. It's a few days before my birthday, the March one, so I'm going to come and say hello. Have a pizza. Oh. And we'll chat, and it'd be nice to uh, to hear your uh, your stripped down versions. Is that going to be your own stuff, or is that a mixture of S Club your stuff? It's going to be a little bit of a mix. I think I'm going to do some, um, probably some of my favourite covers as well. Okay. So I'm sure there'll be some Karen Carpenter thrown in there somewhere. Oh wow! Some wow! Stuff okay. from the first album, stuff from the new album, some of the acoustic S Club stuff. Um, yeah, just, wow. just have a little sing song and a pizza. And a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> They're my oh, two favourite things. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well, in a few minutes, we're going to play your new single. We're not ready for that yet because, Joe, oh. uh, it's very important. We need, to, we need to do something we've not done before with uh, a huge celeb like yourself. Um, oh. we're, going to, we're going to play a quiz. Oh. Uh, it's a Joe O'Meara quiz. Okay. Um, and I'm hoping this is going to go down as well as I think it will. Um, oh, okay. could, it, could, it could go spectacularly wrong. Um, but should we find out what happens next? Let's find out what happens next. Let's find out. Here we go. Here we go. I'm tense. Oh, my, with that music. I mean, that music. I can't take any credit for this music at all. But it sets the scene. Here we go, Joe. Here we okay, go. I'm ready. I'm really excited. It's the most excited I've been on the radio show. Okay, here we go. Joe O'Meara. We're yeah. going to play yeah. Joe O'Meara's S, S Club 7 Spectacular. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> I'm, po I'm probably setting up this up far more than it deserves. Okay. So. Don't worry, you might have, yeah. Right, here we go. This, this, is, this is very tense, okay? Are it's you ready sweet. for this? Here's the instructions, Joe. Oh. So, this is where we test you, the pop legend that is Joe O'Meara, on your own songs, okay? The following, <laughs> <laughs> the following are lyrics to five of your greatest songs in S Club 7, including two number ones, by the way. Okay. okay, the rules are simple. I read out a line to you, Not and you just, have to, you just have to tell me what the next line is. Okay, are you okay? going to speak it or sing it? I'm, not, I'm going to read it. I'm not going to steal your thunder. I'm going to read it, okay? okay? And if you get it right, you get the points. And what do points make, Joe? Prizes. 
No, not in this case. It's just a recognition of getting your songs right. But nevertheless, you got the right idea. Okay. Uh, no, there is a, there's a speed boat at, at stake here as well. And, and um, you know, uh, it's not real. It's a mythical one. But are you ready to go with this? Anyway? I'm so ready. I'm excited. Whew, that makes I'm one nervous. of us. I've got sweet okay. hands. Please don't. Please don't. It's okay. So here's the first lot of lyrics. Okay. You just have to give me the, the next lot of lyrics after this. And then we'll find well, out we'll if you're see. correct. We'll see. Whew. Don't you know it's time what they say that love ain't easy? Don't you know it's true what they say? Sorry, don't you know it's true oh, what they say? say. Don't you Sorry, do yeah, they th love, that love ain't easy, but your time's coming around. Du, 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 so don't you stop trying. So, what's the name of the, what's the, name of the song? Bring it all back. Look at that, brilliant, superb. Well done. Congratulations. That's Thank the first one. Much. Okay. Uh, we move on from that. Uh, this is the next question. Okay. Let it flow and stop the waiting. God. I, I think it's the way you say it. It's is it? Well. Shall, I say it? Shall I say it again? Shall, shall we eat like that? Can you hear me if I say it like that, Joe? <laughs> let, <laughs> let it flow yeah. and stop the waiting. Oh, Wow. <laughs> Well, I didn't think it would be this difficult. Up. Let it flow and stop the waiting. Final chance. I'm tired. <laughs> That's my excuse. The, the lyrics, the lyrics you wanted were "put your time," uh, but your time's coming around, so don't you stop trying. It's this one. Oh, Just don't stop moving. Stop the waiting. You see, you take it out of context. You don't know what it is. Anyway, oh, exactly. love that number one in two thousand and one. Love that. I could play that all day. Anyway, we can't. So, uh, number three. I'm feeling the pressure now. I'm losing it. I'm losing no, it. No, you're not. You, you're doing really well. This is the, I'm going to play your single at the end of this. This is, this is the, that surprise. I've just, I've just decided that surprise. Just when, we're, just when we both thought our lives were set in stone. I love this song. They shone a light and brought us together. Let's to find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Two in a million. What, it's a tune. Only number two in 1999. What was that about? We. I love it. I can sing it. Let's do karaoke together. Go on, I also love, love the album Sunshine, by the way. Just that's a different thing altogether. Um, oh. Anyway, two more, then we're done. All I right. know I never felt like this before. You're like a drug. You got me wanting more. That's easy. I've got to let you know. Ooh, you're... <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll do for me. That'll do for me. You're my number one. Super. Number two in 1999 as well. Okay, this is the final one, Joe. This is the final one. Okay. Wow. Okay. It's in the science. It's genetically proven. Because, baby, when you touch me, <laughs> natural. Wow! Look at that! Joe got them all right, everybody. Well done, Joe. That was super. You. Uh, you won. You. You've you've won the speedboat. You've got a billion points, billion and three points actually. I've just totaled them all up, uh, which was superb. We now get to play your single. That's the that's the prize. Oh, that's amazing. How do you listen? That's been fun. Uh, I could. Do, I want to do Joe O'Meara karaoke next time, please. You that's my plan. That. I'm going to do that. And uh, we wish you all the best with the single, which we're going to hear in a, in a, a few seconds. Uh, good luck with Pizza Express thing. Thank you. I mean, what's not to like about that? And yes. we'll see you in Birmingham in March. Yes, most definitely. Thank you so, so much. No, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for being on. And let's have a listen, shall we, to okay. your wonderful new single. Look at that. It's Christmassy already. Yeah. Joe O'Meara, Never Had a Dream Come True, Unplugged Version. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. See you soon. Joe O'Meara, everyone.